So today I'm going to show you about Google Events Tracking out of your Gravity Forms. So this is part five of our series. And this is really handy because you want events to show up. So I've got a form here and I've installed this plugin. The plugin is called Gravity Forms Google Analytics Tracking Events. Um, it's free, so you can just Google this and you'll get it. Um, I'll put the link in the description for you so you can get that. So you just simply install it. And once you've installed it in the back end, you'll get a new item. Um, so here I've got an SEO audit page and I'm just gonna do what we call submission tracking. So that's the new item. Now I haven't set it up here yet, so I'm just gonna click add new. And straight away what it's gonna do is allow me to submit this feed. So I'm just gonna say this is an SEO audit payment. All right, just like that. Now the UA code, you don't actually have to add that in. See, if you've already got your Google Analytics installed, I do. I don't need to install something again. I don't have to actually add that. And then once we're in here, we can actually choose different types of fields or things like that. Now, if you just actually leave this completely empty and click update settings, just like that, it's actually going to set that through. Now we'll give you this item here saying new way code for event tracking to work. That's fine right, because this will actually still work. But as I say, you can also manually put in the UA code. So I'm gonna get my UA code, paste it in there, click update, and what it does is then it'll actually put in the equivalent of forms here, submission on the next line, and then this particular bit of code here, you can see how it puts the form title in, and then the payment amount. Now I do have a payment amount on here, so I can actually put that in. So you can select the different fields that you've got. So I can just say total there, and that puts the total amount on the payment form. So I will say basically an event's gonna show up now inside my Google Analytics that says the form submission for this form title, SEO awarded with this ID, has a total of this amount, and that event is gonna be in my Google Analytics. That means I can then do a report on that and say, oh, you know, I made this much money this month on SEO water payments. Pretty cool, huh? Now, this is also really great for your end customers as well, because you can start to put value on some of these things. For example, you can say to a customer, well, hey, how much is a contact form really worth when someone fills that out? So some great ideas here, but the most important thing is, is you can simply just fill this stuff out, click update settings and you'll get these events going straight through to Google Analytics and then you can use the power of Google Analytics to create great reports and email reports through to your customers. Hope you love that tip. Good luck with tracking your Google Analytics events from Gravity Forms.